Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can fix all of your lags, FPS drops, stutters, frame lags in Valorant's new episode 6, Act 2. This set was dropped just today and there are a lot of chaos people are complaining about it so i decided to make a video on it i hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end also don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below for best settings i will be replying to each one of you individually and with all this said let's get started all right first things first is the essential windows settings as always you should open up your settings panel and then copy the same settings simply search for game mode and open turn on game mode and make sure that it is enabled then right beneath that you have to go to graphics and then go to change default graphics settings and make sure that both of these are enabled these will accelerate your gpu more than anything else then over here right in the graphics section you always have to make sure that you add valorant in this if it is not already added you can click on the browse button and go to the installation directory of the game for me i've already added it so once you add it simply go to options and click on high performance by the way you can do this tab on any other game and that will work for best settings as well then you gotta go and go into windows update and make sure that your windows is always up to date if there are any updates possible that is pending simply click on download and install because windows keep updating minor bugs with each and every update they bring so always make sure that your windows is up to date right beneath that go to advanced options then make sure to go and turn off delivery optimization this will save a lot of bandwidth right after that you have to search for storage sense and click on turn on storage sense and make sure that this is also enabled on your computer this will automatically free up your windows space delete temporary files every now and then so you have to go in here turn on both of these settings and make sure to copy the settings over here and before going click on run storage sense now Step number two is de-animating your windows. Literally, this step will bring you a lot of FPS. Windows by default has a lot of animations and you can actually turn that off. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then make sure to click on adjust for best performance. For super low-end computers, this will work out like a charm. But if you don't like the look of your windows, you can always click on smooth edges of screen font as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. This will de-animate your windows completely, but will also get you the nicer look. Also, go under the advanced section over here and for the process scheduling make sure that it is set to programs by default for most computers it can be set to background services and that will make a big difference if you set it to program step number three is system configuration for that you have to simply go and open system configuration and once this simple window pops right in front of you you have to go under the boot section click on advanced options click on number of processors and set it to the maximum number of processors available for you for me it is 24 this will basically improve your computer's boot up time and also the performance in the long run right after that you have the services section over here i would recommend you guys to disable the microsoft edge services over here update services you need to turn off the google update services as well over here and then simply click on apply this won't impact your computer in any ways so always make sure to keep it off uh, because they will consume internet while updating the applications that you do not actually require to be updated now since we're talking about network i will also tell you guys how to reduce your ping as well as get a stable internet connection for that i would always recommend you guys to use exit lag exit lag has a list of games that you can choose from and it is actually beneficial as it creates a tunnel for your games to directly connect to the servers without any hindrance you can simply go to the link in the description below and get exit lag over here for free once you install and open up the application the interface is very simple and should look like this over here you have to search for valorant to add it over here and you have to click on the game region and set it to the nearest region to you for me it is mumbai so i have to set to indian mumbai 01 once again it will show you the estimated ping over here there are three or four servers in mumbai so you can go and check out where you get the least amount of ping for me it is 01 so i'd go with the first server over here and then simply click on apply routes and that will be added to your recent list then go into the tools section it also provides you a separate fps boost section so if you want to skip all of the mess coming ahead in the video you can simply go and get exit lag and simply do the fps boost enable the first third fourth uh fifth and the second last option and that's it after that you have to restart your pc but most of the settings are already done 
Now exit lag is free for just three days, and after that you have to get a subscription plan for exit lag. For that it offers one month, six month, and twelve month subscription. But if you go onto the link in the description below and get it from there, you can get an additional ten percent off on your subscription. So make sure to go and select the best out there that you need. Now step number six is to create a restore point, and I would always recommend you guys to create a restore point. Simply search for create a restore point, and then go under system protection. Over here, you have to select your local disk C or any drive which says system. Click on create and name it Valorant. This will ensure your system's safety. If anything happens to your computer, it will always be restored and you can prevent yourself from data loss. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties. Now let's move to step number seven. That is the Valorant episode six act to FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and I would recommend you guys to go and download it. This will boost your system like nothing else. Once you open it up, you will find in four simple folders. First one is the PC optimization, then CPU optimization, RAM optimization, and lastly the Valorant priority. Open up the first folder and you will find in four simple registry files as well as one cache cleaner. This does the same job as the storage sense. It will clean your cache. But if you want to clean it manually, you can simply right click and run this as administrator. You guys can see this pop up will simply delete all of the unnecessary files that you do not require and it is safe to delete it. It may take a little while because there are a lot of temporary files in your computer. Then comes these four simple registry files. What you need to do is simply double tap. You can simply right click, go to show more options and then click on merge. This is also how you can run the registry files. Once you're done applying all of these files, go back to the episode six pack. Now go into the second folder, which is the CPU optimization folder. You'll find in CPU priority, open it up. And I have left two folders for Intel and AMD CPUs. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel priority. If you have the AMD CPU, you can run the AMD priority. This will basically boost your in-games FPS drastically. So I'd recommend you guys to do this as well. Then go to the third folder, which is the RAM optimization. And I have left a lot of preset to RAM over here. You need to select the RAM that you're using on your computer. For me, it is 16 GB. It can be different for you. So if you want to search for it, you can simply search for system information on your computer. In here, you will find the installed physical memory on your computer. You have to simply select the RAM and then run this file over here. Lastly is the Valorant priority. And in here, I have left three simple registries. One is the above normal priority. Second is the high priority and third is the normal priority. In case you're facing mild stutter issues, you can go with the above normal priority. If you're facing high stutter issues, you can go with the high priority. That is how simple it works. And if you feel that your game is working fine, you can set it to normal priority. And that is how you fix most of your FPS issues right over there. Lastly is the best in-game settings. And for that, you have to open up your game itself. All right, once you open up your game, what you need to do is go and click on play, go and go to settings. Over here, you have to go and scroll over to your video section. And then in the general section, make sure to play on full screen always. Select your monitor and your resolution over here that you find fit. Then lastly is the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. For most of you guys, it will work best on ON. For most, it works best on ON plus Boost. So it's a personal preference. Check both of them and then apply. Then go over to the graphics quality over here. And the most important option is the multi-threaded rendering. Now, if you have a processor with four or more cores, I would recommend you guys to go with multi-threaded rendering. This will improve your FPS by a lot. Set it to on. Then for all of the quality should go with low because in Valorant quality really does not matter. What matters is the frames. Then for vignette and vsync, keep it off. Inti aliasing would always want it none because it will affect your FPS drastically. And isotropic filtering should also be one X. Improve clarity should be off. Uh, beta experimental sharpening, keep it off. Bloom off, distortion off and cast shadow should also be turned off. And just with that, you are ready to play Valorant on the best settings possible. So guys, I hope this video might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. Also, we'll see you guys in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.